They don't care if they kill your child or impair your child. Uh, they don't care who they sell them to. As long as they make that buck, that's all they care about. That small red canister is the reason for so much outrage tonight. Only on ABC 15, this man's son almost dies after inhaling what's inside. His son bought it at the smoke shop. It's a very familiar, uh, similar area to those aerosol cans the kids use for huffing. ABC 15 Sonu Wasu is live and surprised with an angry confrontation that happened between dad and that store owner. Sonu, what do you know about this? Well, this father just stormed out of that emergency room and came straight here to the smoke shop armed with the very same canisters that his son admitted to inhaling. I'll have your place shut down in about 20 days. A furious father confronts the man who sold his son these cans of compressed nitrous oxide, known on the street as whippets, selling a high that landed his son in an emergency room. $20.99, and there's 40, 50 of these containers in here. It's a modern twist on an old way of huffing. You may have heard of people inhaling cans of whipped cream. This is basically the bottled high without the cream sold in a smoke shop. The average person doing whippets will do a box in less than 30 minutes. Doctors say the amount of nitrous oxide his son inhaled almost shut down his heart. I almost lost my son. We stopped by the smoke shop that's selling these whippets. Is your store selling products that no, kill no, children? Can you talk? No. The owner asked us to leave, but he did stress he's not doing anything illegal. Maybe so, but this distressed father says they've just found a legal way to use a product that could kill them. They don't care if they kill your child or impair your child. Uh, they don't care who they sell them to. As long as they make that buck, that's all they care about. They're no better than the drug dealer that stands on the corner selling the heroin or the crack or marijuana or, or anything like that. Now, I just checked in a national watchdog group that tracks these inhalant deaths say that uh, dozens of people die every year from what's called huffing, and they actually believe the numbers are even greater than what they are tracking right now. The family now planning to file complaints with state, local, and federal agencies, and even threatening to sue this place. In surprise, Sonu Basu, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, good parents right there doing everything they can to protect their child. Sonu, thank you.